Hi, today we'll talk about um, um, government domestic debt and interest rate as I've been asked by um, some of you. Um, it, it is a very important topic to talk about um, government um, domestic debt. So uh, first of all, we, we can get this data and uh, we, we need to understand um, what's the process to understand the source of um, the debt and the interest rate. We need to understand um, how this debt is created. So usually um, governments, when they um, go into deficit in the budget, so um, the revenues are less than um, um, expenditure. So in this case, the will have a deficit in the budget and the deficit would be financed by debt so this debt um, when we have um, when we have um, financial sector institutions functioning financial sector and institutions talking about the banks and central banks and so in this case the government will borrow from the financial sector so how the government will borrow i mean the government um will issue bonds government bonds so government debt or government guilt so they issue bonds and make them available um to the public and mainly financial sector uh, to buy these bonds um now when we buy when uh financial sector will buy these bonds this so this will increase the um, money supply in the economy and that will stimulate economic growth so let's let's have a look so we can get the data from um, imf so international monetary fund so if you click on the data set database world economic outlook database and then you could choose by countries and then you could select uh, which countries you want to, to get the data uh from so maybe you want to um talk about um maybe middle east and central asia so if you um select few countries um so If you select a few countries and then go continue and then you'll be able to choose um, which item uh, you want so if we we're talking about um, government domestic debt so if you go down to um, indicators going to um, um, a government finance in this case you'll have um, government, um, general government revenue, national currency, general government revenue percentage of GDP, you have general government total expenditure, national currency, government, uh, general government total expenditure percentage of GDP. So we have also general government net lending borrowing. So what we're looking for, we're looking for, um, you have here, you have general government net debt so you have general net debt so uh, in national currency we have general net debt in as a percentage of gdp so if you get confused between them just click here or just hover over it and then you'll get the understanding of this, or how this is calculated um, so you have also general government gross debt in national currency and also as a percentage of GDP. So all you need to do is just select uh, whatever you want, yeah, and then you continue, and then you select here. So I don't know. Get. Of course, we're not going to 2026. Even 2021, maybe it's estimated data. So let's 20. 20 and then um, get prepare report and then you'll be able to download 
the report. So you will see here uh, the Excel sheet. Um, so you have years, countries, and um, the items or indicators. Uh, so you can see that for even for uh, uh, they they will tell you here about estimates. So this year's um, estimate data. So uh, you have the year. So you got uh, for most of countries you got um, healthy data except for um, Pakistan so you got uh, data starts from availability of data from uh, 2001 yeah so from 2001 you see availability of data so other countries you got availability of data from 1988 yeah so it depends on how many years usually um, I would say um, 10 year 10 years data would be fine um, if you want you could do it like 20 years data yeah so yeah 20 20 years data if you can get into um, uh, the data for 2020 in this case that will allow you to get data from 2001 to 2020 otherwise you'll have to go from 2000 to 2019 um, so this is one thing and you will get the data about um, as I said um, general government uh, uh, you have also um, World Bank data database so you can select um, whatever country you, you want from this list and then so after selecting countries you see here you've got uh, 264 countries so you can select series you can select here you choose um, at and you'll have central government debt as a percent of GDP um, central government debt um, total you have also what you could do um, that service you could look at um, external debt stocks as a percentage of um, at GN, GNI um, you have also you have external debt stocks total you have also what else you have sh uh, short term debt you have total debt service as a percentage of um, um, exports of goods and services you have total debt service as a percentage of GNI and total reserves so as a percentage of total external debt so these these data these these figures will um, in in the World Bank they give you more of um, different options if you need uh, to use data and or if you if you if you want more um, um, let's say uh, options in relation to the model or analysis you're doing so this is the outcome for what we selected. I mean, you could select whatever you want. Um, uh, you can now download the data and then you can choose how you want data, which format. Um, so you get you got the Excel sheet and then you get the data um, so it's just um, we selected from 2011 to 2019 you see many countries um, they don't have uh, the data available some they do so you need to 
as I said in previous videos, so you need to see how you need to get uh, the missing data or how you're going to treat the missing data. In relation to um, interest rate on uh, general domestic debt, or, so you need to so you need to, as I said, as the government will issue bonds and uh, um, sell these bonds to the public, uh, mainly um, financial institutions. In this case, we have the bond. The bond uh, is uh, sold in the um, financial market. Um, in this case, you will have. You need to look at the bond seal to get the interest rate. So here we got just to briefly you've got United States you got one the yield for the 10 year uh, government bond yields 1.62% um, and for the United Kingdom is 0.85% um, so I'm using Bloomberg to get this data about bond yield um I hope I answered uh your questions and uh, let me know if you have any other questions hope this video is beneficial thank you for for watching